Hello. Before I begin this tutorial, I would like to clarify that this video will work on all 32-bit EFI Macs with 64-bit processors. At least it should. The thing is, we are going to be focusing on the Mac Pro, and unless you have a Mac Pro with an updated graphics card running newer OS Xs on older Mac hardware, may be slower and you'll have graphical issues you may need to disable things and you may need extra files or other modifications to your Mac but for Mac Pros as long as you have an updated graphics card the only thing you need to do is follow this tutorial and you should be golden this is a Rutke Mods video Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to episode 4 of my Mac Pro series. In today's video, I am going to show you one of the many ways you can install a new OS X onto your Mac Pro. And this will also work with most other 32-bit EFI Macs with 64-bit processors, though there may be some issues with them. In this video, I will be showing you how to install the newer OS X using a disk image file from a supported Mac. You can get disk image files in many different places online. I am not going to tell you how to. And you need to be careful with disk images because they may have malicious intent. The disk image I am using today is a disk image from my early 2009 MacBook. Please do not ask me for a disk image because I will not be giving you one. In fact, doing this may violate Apple's Terms of Service, but I highly doubt it because the Terms of Service just says it needs to run on Apple hardware, which it still is. Anyway, let's begin. Welcome to my Line desktop. Now I assume you already have the disk image file downloaded. So we need to find the disk image file. So to do that, we need to open Finder and then locate the location of your disk image. Mine is on my 500 gigabyte partition for Mac. Then we need to right click on it, hit open with disk utility select the disk image, then go to restore. At this point you will be selecting the drive that you want to put it on. Before we continue any further, if there's anything important on this drive, you need to back it up because otherwise you will lose everything. This will erase it completely and put the files from the image onto it. So click and drag the drive over and click restore. It will ask if you want to erase. Hit erase. Type in your password. And if you have never opened the image file before it will start to verify. I've already opened this image file. Once the verification is over, you have to restart everything, the way I just showed you in these menus. But after that happens, it will start copying the blocks. And I will show you the finished product when it finishes. Okay, the image has now been written. As you can see, it says LCAP right there. I will also show you that all the files are on the drive. And there they are. That's it, right? We can now boot right into the newest OS Xs, including Mountain Lion, Mavericks, Yosemite, and El Capitan and future ones, correct? No. 
we first need to put on a modified boot.efi file, which I will be covering in episode 5. This has been a Rotke Mods video.